This is a fascinating concept that premiered this morning on The Morning Show. Perhaps you saw it with David and with Pat. Well, you're going to be meeting a lovely lady today. Her name is, her name is Nancy Dryspoon, and she's going to be with us with J19977, the Make-A-Watch Beaded Watch Kit. It's $24.62. You can choose either the golden finished beads or the silver finished beads. We know which one Laquita, Bianca, and yours truly would choose. This is a QVC exclusive kit. And what it is, it's an opportunity for you to make your own watch for only $24.62. And it's on very sturdy elastic bands, just like the coil bracelets that fit comfortably any wrist size. This fits any wrist size, too. It's J19977, brand new today. Nancy Dryspoon joins me, and she is from a long line of jewelry lovers. Your mom, your grandmom, and now you all jewelry lovers, yes, right? Yes, that's correct. Even my great-grandmother. So <laughs> this is sort of in your blood. You couldn't I get away so. from this. I think so. I don't think I could get away from this from all over the world. Well, I want to show everybody how ingenious this is, because you were just telling me that when you first came to QVC, you were talking to the watch buyer about some of your watch designs, and then you were going to talk to your to the buyer here at QVC that does crafts. That's correct. And our watch buyer said, what do you have in that box? <laughs> Along came what's called Make a Watch. It's an ability for you to make your own beaded watch from the kit, which everything is included. That's correct. For $24.62. And so you get the quartz accurate movement with an easy to read face. And that comes with a one year limited warranty. Yeah. So it's the kind of watch you're looking for. All the beads, all the instructions. And your choices are either the gold tone or the silver tone. I wanted to show you how it's packaged because I think it makes a great gift to that daughter that's home from high school and she has no idea what to do with herself at night or somebody even who might be recuperating from a cold and you might want to give them a little gift and say here not only is it a great craft idea but it's something you really can do yes and it makes a nice fashion statement it fits anybody um from a petite wrist all the way up to an eight inch wrist mm -hmm. and it's very easy to get off and on and you did choose a wonderful face. Our viewers always want to know exactly how big everything well, is. Well, you can definitely see the numbers on this. Well, this is an inch in diameter, and it's two black hands, so the big and little hand are black. You have a black sweep second hand against the white dial, and then black Arabic numerals all the way around the face, which again is about an inch, and then that beautiful, it almost could lend into a southwestern look, because that's a bit of a concha influence. A little bit, yes. That's about an inch wide, and then you've got your triple strand bracelet all on tough, sturdy elastic. So if you have arthritis, long fingernails, mm -hmm. or you mm -hmm. live alone, look how that goes right around the wrist. And whether your wrist is tiny or you need an eight or an eight and a half inch size, this is going to fit you comfortably. Yes, it will. It's very comfortable on, and it's very easy to make. Well, now, how hard is it? Because you come from all these jewelry designers, <laughs> and everybody at home might say it's a great looking watch, but no, what no, do I no, do no, next? no, no, no. If you can tie a knot, your own shoelace then you can definitely make this watch. I mean, the easiest step and the most important step is to just thread this in to the, the what we call watch attachment and the first hole and just bring it up and just tie a regular old knot, just like you tie your shoelaces in the morning. So if you can tie your shoes, you can If you can, can tie your watch. shoes, you can make this watch. And then you just pull it down and then you thread your beads according to the instructions and here are all the instructions right here it gives you a ruler it gives you all the instructions so you'd measure step. right here is where you'd measure your wrist to see what size it is and if you're a petite then obviously you would follow the directions uh, for the petite or narrow wrist which is highlighted right here in bold and if you have a large size wrist then you just use every one of those beads the other exciting thing is we know a lot of people love to do beaded jewelry themselves. Maybe they even do some uh, hand-painted ceramic beads. So if your kids are involved in bead making in terms of bracelets and anklets, you can always customize this bracelet by maybe substituting a few of either the silver tone or the gold Absolutely. tone, whatever you've purchased, yes. with some of the beads you already have at home. Yes, and some of the, all you have to do is measure. Again, you can use the ruler right on the printed sheet and measure the size. Just make sure that the hole that is in your bead is approximately 1 16th of an inch because this industrial size elastic, which mm -hmm. is very sturdy. How long is that elastic going to last for us, Nancy? Is that something that years and years and years I think it, Well, I would say that like a good diamond, mm -hmm. you want to take it in periodically to be checked. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have mine that I wear at home. I've been wearing it for a year now and it has not frayed or broken mm -hmm. or anything. And I'm very hard on things. I wear it every single day. Okay. But again, it's something depending on what the tension is when you tie off those knots, mm -hmm. you know, you don't want to check it periodically. You have to check it periodically. Okay. Exactly. Do you want to show us how to do it? Because we've got a, a customer waiting, but I thought it would kind of be neat to show everybody Absolutely. how easy this it actually is. Absolutely. This is called is. a spacer, and this is the barrel bead. 
another spacer. And you don't have to memorize this because no. Nancy's included in everything. Everything in is included in the directions. And so basically you just once you get the it on up. once you get the first pattern down, it's a repeated pattern on every single strand. Of course again it's three strands. So this is something you might want to do even with your daughter who's nine or ten years old. Oh, I mean if you're sure. looking for projects instead of the television at night. Oh yes. This might be a nice idea for you to have at home. And you can see at this step step, once I've gotten to this point. Okay, so here we're looking at here how we're we looking just at started. how we just start it. Okay, if you don't mind, I want to bring this over so our cameras don't have to go too Absolutely, far. Absolutely, that's fine. Let me just All right, this so away. this is kind of like those cooking shows where you start off with that's the, the beginning exactly and then right. all of a sudden, <laughs> voila. So here, what we've done is Nancy has just simply threaded these first two, and now we're at the last one. We're so ready we're to ready sort to of call it a day. Exactly, we're ready to just cut this off at a ninety de degree angle with our scissors. Hope I can get that. You have a sad little scissors I there, think Nancy. I do. <laughs> <laughs> and thread it up through. And again, I'm just going to check the tension on all three of these rows to make sure that they're approximately all the same tension. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull up slightly, about an inch or so, tie a quick knot, and let that let that knot just down. All right. One thing I want to mention in terms of a fashion point of view is yes. we have both the gold tone and the silver tone available. You can see the silver tone on Nancy's wrist. The gold tone is on my wrist. This does give you a little bit more of a sporty, chunky feeling, too, because it's like an ethnic beaded watch in a way. Yes. So it's going to be perfect with any of your southwestern jewelry, any of your silver jewelry, but it's also going to be gorgeous with a Joan Rivers, a Kenneth Lane collection that has a very elegant look because all the beads are have an oxidized finish to them, a darkened or an antiqued finish, That's correct. which gives it a very rich appeal. So when you're wearing, say, a palazzo pant in an ethnic print with a long sleeveless vest, yeah. this is the kind of watch you'd like to wear. We've got some very patient people waiting to say oh, hi to you, Nancy, so let's great. go to the I'd phone. love to hear from them. Welcome to QVC during our watch gallery. Who's this, please? Oh, that's because they're not talking yet. <laughs> Hi, don't be shy. What's your first name? This is Jerry Magnuson from Wisconsin. Jerry, Hi. welcome to QVC. Please meet Nancy. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Nancy. How you doing today, Jerry? I'm oh, just fine. How's the weather in Wisconsin? Oh, it's nice today. Oh, good. Are you going to be making a watch in no time? Yes, I am. I've been looking for an unusual silver watch because I'm a great lover of Jean and her silver. Good. So. I hope we have a date on Sunday. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so you got so, the silver tone watch. Yes. And I, uh, I'm a crafter, and oh, I good. thought I'd like to try it. Have you ever made a watch before? No, ma'am. Well, you should have a very easy time if you're a crafter. You should be able to make this in about 30 minutes. Well, from what I've been watching, it doesn't look too hard. It's very easy. But. Uh, it certainly is unusual, and I think I'll enjoy it. Oh, so. you will. You'll have a great time. And the, me the best satisfaction is after you've made it, and you just look at this thing, and you say, Oh, my God, I made this myself. Now, it's if great. elastic breaks, uh, how could you replace that? Jerry's concerned that if the elastic should break or come apart, what's the best way to do it? Well, we do give you extra it. elastic. You have about an extra six inches in the oh, event I that... Yep, and you can always pull up and retie oh. this knot. I see. Okay, depending mm -hmm. on what the tension is on your particular wrist. Oh, then there should be no problem. There should be no problem, but in the event that you do ever, I don't know, if something happens and you cut the wrong place by mistake, run out to your local sewing store and just pick up some more elastic, but make sure you ask them for the 1 16th of an inch industrial strength. I understand. Okay. Great. You probably have some. You have all this. Oh, it's so even sounds like fun. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, enjoy, Jerry. We'll see you Sunday morning for Silver Star. All right, and thank you for talking to oh, me. Thank pleasure. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So then what comes next after this, Nancy? Once okay, the next step would off. be... All right, let me bring this down, because again, as I mentioned, it's easier for our cameras. Sure, to you could just lay are. that right there over. There we go. Now, um, you would imagine at this point, I've cut off all the ends. Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. And then this spring pin would fit Sorry, where's my bead bar? There we go. Right into the butterfly like so. Now, Pat James Dimitri had the best description of this this morning, right? It's like threading that little piece through your toilet tissue right, in the bathroom. Right, right. And as you can see... It's got a little plunger. It's got a little plunger on it. So it, it, it's springy like, like it is in the bathroom. See? That's exactly right. Our little finger can go up and down yep. on it. That's springy. Okay, yep. there we go. Okay, and then we would put this straight through this bead, this uh, watch attachment like so. Mm-hmm. And that's the one that looks like a bow or a concha. It's that's so correct. Pretty. And there, then there's a little hole in the watch head, mm -hmm. which many QVC customers are very used to. But you know, this is just such. You can keep going while. while sure, I'm absolutely. There's a little. There's an indentation mm -hmm. in the watch head, which most of you are familiar with. The best part about this watch, once you keep going, and, and we'll just follow okay, you visually. Okay, fine. This just pops right in. Go ahead. Is that 
so many times we have a beautiful watch show like today and people are frustrated because the one watch that's eight inches is too large. And then the other watch that went down to six and three quarter inches is just a little bit too small. But when you have a watch like this, it's custom made to your size wrist. Yes, it is. So you can do it for a five and a half or a five or an eight or an eight and three quarters. And even if you have a larger wrist you, and you need it a little bit more elastic, you could do that too. And so now you can see that basically the watch is done. The watch is done. Look at that. Where does the name Legacy come from? Because that's on the face of all the watches. Well, I wanted it to seem as if when we started the company that this is something that a mother could hand down to the daughter mm -hmm. and the daughter could give to her daughter and and so on and so, so on and so on. It became on. a legacy of a jewelry line. Right. You know what? We're just about out of time, but before we do, I just wanted to show it to you in a close-up. If we can do this right before we say goodbye, I have on a ring that's coming up this weekend, which is very Victorian and antiqued in the silver tone. And look how pretty that they looks are together. Beautiful so together. So it's not just for your ethnic or chunky looks, Absolutely even not. for the delicate no, looks. The watch that looks would fit beautiful. in beautifully. Nancy, thank you for bringing oh, such a great idea. So much to, for having me, It's great having you here yeah, today. Thank you. Stay on the line. If you're on the line, I think I've noticed that over seven or eight hundred of these have been ordered so if you're on the line stay where you are and it's j199772422